Well, not really much rain because most of the rain was well off to our south today, but we did see a few more clouds push their way in from the south, and we're going to see that those clouds will stick around for the night. Not going to be a completely cloudy night. Some of us will see some breaks in the clouds, but as we do head into tomorrow, that's when we'll see more clouds as another disturbance will start to push in from the west, and we'll be looking out for rain showers and thunderstorms coming in by Thursday, but this system right here to our south should push off to the east. As we go ahead and take a look at our current conditions, 68 degrees northeast winds at 9 miles per hour and seeing mostly sunny conditions, those high clouds across the area. And as we take a look at our current temperatures, 68 for us in Marquette, just off to the south and west, seeing more of the 70s as we look off right here at 73 degrees in Florence, 73 also in, a floor, in Ironwood, 66 in Ontonagon, and more of the 60s back here in Toulouse and in Houghton. For us into Munising, we are at 65 degrees, lower 70s in Escanaba and 68 for our current temperature in Ishpeming. Our winds coming from the east anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour at 8 here in Tohoten, 8 also down at Escanaba and 7 over in Munising, so not too or not terribly breezy out there and also seeing temperatures that are right around average for this time of the year, especially as you go farther south at 75 in Alpena, 77 in Houghton Lake and for us we're seeing more of those 70s and the 60s in the UP. Our weather headlines are going to include some more of those average overnight temperatures as we'll drop off into the lower the lower 50s and some of us maybe even the upper 50s and that's just right on par for this time of the year. Partly cloudy throughout the day on Wednesday, but the rain is on the way and we'll see more of that and more chances of rain by the time we make our way into Thursday and that's going to also include a chance of thunderstorms as we'll have a little more instability in the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and take a look at our setup. This will be our next rain, our next rain maker as it is currently well off into the northern plains providing thunderstorms for them, but warm air out in front of it and we'll fill that by tomorrow with our new air mass. And as we take a look at tomorrow, here comes that system that was just to our south providing all the rain into Illinois that will start to move off into lower Michigan and portions of the Midwest here into Ohio and a little farther off towards the east here into portions of Pennsylvania as well. Our future cast model is showing that sunny skies will continue to persist. We'll be seeing partly sunny skies throughout the day tomorrow, but for the most part, especially if you're from about Marquette on to, to the west, You'll see mostly sunny skies and once that all gets pushed off to the east with that disturbance, here comes our next one coming in that was in the northern plains starting to provide chances of thunderstorms and showers on Thursday, but still not a lot. And once it does pass on through, you'll have some wraparound moisture with that and that could give us some more showers on into Thursday night before clearing out yet again by Friday evening and on into the weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look at tonight. 45 degrees, mostly clear. Our winds are going to be calm by tomorrow, seeing more of that easterly flow between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Just another dry day. We're going to continue to stay, see mostly dry conditions. 72 in Launce, 80 degrees a little farther south in Crystal Falls, and 80 in Iron Mountain, while at 70 degrees in Munising. Our seven-day forecast after the rain on Thursday, well, expect temperatures to drop back off into the 60s for highs Friday and Saturday, but more rain is on the way as we head into Sunday with another disturbance bringing in another chance of thunderstorms with highs back into the 70s and we'll make our way back into the 80s on Monday. So you can see how it's going to be like a roller coaster of a ride with our temperatures for the next seven days.